Good day mga Kabahin Techers, this is Certi Kabahin Tech and today we are going to clone a Windows partition or a drive using the Macrium software Reflect 8. But before we begin, if you are new to my channel, take some time and click that subscribe button. We are trying to reach the 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year and if you eventually like this video, kindly click on the like button. Thank you very much. So we're going to do two ways of cloning your Windows computer here using the Macrium uh, software Re Reflect 8. I am not sponsored by Macrium software. This is the one that I use for my personal use and I also use this one as a registered user for my clients and that's the reason why I found out about this software. I do use other open source software but I find this one a little bit easier for me and it's a little bit easier to manage especially if I have a lot of computers that are similar and I want to deploy the same image from one device to the other. So before we begin with doing the cloning, let me show you how, where I get this software and how to install them. The best way is to go on Google and type Macrium Reflect Free Edition. It will show up as a result that it is a free trial when you go onto the website select home user and then download the free trial you have to select either 64-bit or 32 in my case it's 64-bit then do the registration it will send you an email of a trial key then let's install the software then click on next and agree and if you're going to put in the trial key that they gave you click on next then next again i'm not going to, in to install the virtual manager here so i'm just going to click on next and let it install once it's done it's going to launch the software then here, it's going to show up if there are any updates for the program. Just download it and, in, and it will automatically install it. After we do the installation, we're going to do the first scenario, which is copying a failed Windows drive or a failing Windows drive to another drive with the same storage capacity. This is the partition that I wanted to copy. And it's going to give you two options here. It's either clone this disk or image this disk. So clone this disk is you want to copy the original hard drive of this computer to a larger or even a smaller size capacity storage that you are that you already plugged in externally. Or if there is another SATA port that you could plug in inside. In my case, I'm using a mini PC. So my option is to put it on an external drive. Then again, we click on refresh. Let me clone it. And then it will show you the uh, the source drive, which is this. And then it will ask you to select a disk to clone to. I'm going to select this drive that is the Kingston drive. So I'm going to erase the disk. In copy partitions, there are two options here, exact partition or shrink or extend. If the destination drive is bigger, you could actually extend it and the software will automatically fill the rest of the excess to the main drive, which is this one. Next is to go to advanced option. We are going to verify the file system. I would suggest doing this one and selecting it. Another option would be if everything is finished and you're just leaving this computer. When it's done copying, you could either click on this and then you could either hibernate, suspend, or reboot or shut down. And you could force all the programs to close. At the moment, this is just a smaller partition. So I'm just going to uncheck this one, but this is the important one, the verify file system and enable trim. So I'm going to click on OK. Then I'm going to click on Next. And then here, I'm going to click on Next. And then we click on, I'm going to check it and then click on continue. So, but before I click on continue, again, make sure that the drive that you are going to copy to, you already backed up or you don't need the data on that target disk. I am not responsible for your files being deleted. Here it's going to snapshot the volume. It depends on the speed of the computer, the speed of the source drive and the speed of the destination drive. So everything will be dependent when it comes to time. So I can't give you how many minutes will it copy. It all depends, especially if you're copying a drive, an original drive that is already failing, that will take some time. So this one was completed. So all you have to do is click on OK and then close. So you might notice the Kingston is the exact partition of this one. So all you have to do now is to shut down the computer, remove the existing drive on this computer and put in the new drive onto that computer and you're done and put the computer as per normal. On the next video, we are going to copy or clone a smaller drive and put it onto a bigger drive with other file formats that are either Linux or FAT32. We're going to clone that to a bigger drive and I will show you how to adjust those partitions from smaller to bigger. So that's it mga kabayan techers. If you have any comments, suggestions, or questions that you want to ask, kindly write them down below. For those who are watching right now and like this video, kindly click on the like button. Again, thank you very much and have a good day.